you both were pissing him, that means you are what? Suspect. I'm gonna earn you back. Take this. I don't care what it takes, and this ain't all I've got. Do something to her. Who are you talking about, Zach? Hayden's bitch ass. No, he didn't do anything to her. He better not, because I'll kill him. Gary wants to win Andy back. Hayden is dead. Child, no, you're not. And Daniela, what exactly are you doing at this airport? What's good, y'all? It's your good sis Erica Van here with the episode two from season four of Sisters Preview. In this video, I am jumping into the 30 second teaser that we get at the end of each episode. At the end of episode one, we got this teaser, and I want to talk about some of the things that we're going to see in next episodes and kind of like my initial predictions of what to expect. So, if that's something that you want to discuss, you want to hear about, then keep watching. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now because i know that you're gonna like the video i know you're gonna love the tribe the community here is lit we talk all things television and breaking down all of the hottest television shows and i would really love it if you joined the tribe as well turn on your bell notifications after you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any videos but without further ado let's start at the top the start of this little teaser we get to see andy on the phone with zach and he's asking did he do something to her did hayden do something to her i will kill him if he touched her and i'm like okay great keep talking like well, well zach doesn't know anything right zach don't know what happened yet fatima is not in andy's office anymore so it's clear that she grabbed her purse and her things and she got up out of there she's probably running to zach right now i don't know why andy and zach wound up on the phone i don't know if zach was still trying to call fatima because we saw him call her last episode and leave a voicemail and when that didn't go through he maybe tried to call andy to see where she's at but then by this time she's already have left the office office and maybe Andy mentioned something about Hayden or she had to run off or something like that and then now that's what sparks his dialogue but what I love about this is that he said that he will kill him not that he did kill him so even in the court of law if they if they pull up this you know recording or or question either of them this to me is the first thing that lets people know like this ain't Zach Zach ain't do it if y'all missed it I did a season four trailer breakdown as well as the 20 new characters that we are going to see in season and four and in those videos i talk about some of the storylines that we're going to see and unfortunately part of the storyline that we're going to see is zach is going back to jail we just at this point don't know how and why we don't know if it's for the insider trading we don't know if they mistakenly pull him up for the whole hayden thing or if it's something else that's going to come out of the woodwork so i'm literally looking for every breadcrumb that we could possibly get for him to make sure that he proves his innocence of like he didn't do nothing to hayden even though hayden popped up on him last night and almost made him put them paws on him but he didn't he kept his restraint he kept his maturity and he kept it pushing and then Fatima went on to do something about it but that's not Zach's whole you know shebang you feel me so I love seeing this part of this trailer Andy I just feel like she need to mind her business yes Hayden works at this law firm but if Fatima got something going on with it if Zach do got something going with it mind your business girl it has nothing to do with you you need to focus on yourself and Robin and how you gonna get Gary up off your back girl because Andy I don't know I mean I know how because we see how every season you know we see how she gets integrated into all this other mess as well but she has so much already on her own plate and it's just like girl just leave some of some of the problems up here on the table you ain't gotta take on everybody's problem after that y'all i was kind of let down in the trailer i ain't even gonna hold you because we back to q and he's been in fulton county jail cook County, wherever he at he been in there for all of 12 hours maybe and he already talking about cutting a deal talking to the da and getting out and then calling more talking about some can he stay with him so q gonna be out by next episode and it's like tyler we don't even want the damn q storyline to begin with you do not have to rush this man out of jail he can go ahead and sit there for a little bit he can make a little friend have a little struggle like what is actually happening we're really doing this i could definitely get with the whole maurice storyline exploring his backstory and his trauma with his father without freaking q we got it q is a trigger for him he's probably endeared to q because he reminds him of his father that's all we need to know we don't actually need to see q we don't actually need to feel him in nobody's space or anything like that so go ahead and just keep him in the jail if we can please and maurice if he's coming home that ain't your home that he need to come to baby go ahead and release and let it go that man is no good mm -mm. it's trouble afoot child and then from there y'all it gets good again in the trailer because danny decides to pull up logan as he ushers this girl up off this airplane and we already know that she thinks that he is a human trafficker and that he has the telltale signs which i didn't necessarily see i thought that they would try to like not talk to people he was trying to hit on her be nice to her he was being overly friendly over the overly talkative and it's just like girl i don't know if you got this one right danny now this little sister next to him definitely looks shook 
look something is going on with her but i don't think it's what you think it is and again y'all i did the whole if you want the spoilers right if you want the spoilers or the kind of predictions check out that 20 new characters video because there is actually an undercover officer who is named as well in this season and i think that that's who logan is i don't think that he's actually a human trafficker i think he's an undercover officer and there's some kind of covert case or something going on where maybe this girl is in witness protection and he was there to try to pick her up and now danny's about to make this whole big stink about it and i'm just like okay danny i appreciate you for trying to do your job sis but i think that this might be a setup for going into her storyline her actually starting to question some of her decisions some of her dialogue because she literally is fresh off of breaking up with preston or their mutual breakup because child she had this whole white privilege conversation with him and then decided to tell him all these things that she's been holding back but she never even like threw any kind of hints or anything on it's just like it feels like danny is going down this road of like almost like lashing out at people and kind of doing what's right like i i have to really think about it because i don't even know if i can fully articulate what i think is going on with danny because i think i'm still kind of confused it's like that whole preston conversation is episode one really threw me for a loop because preston was like the least of the white people that's out here flourishing in their whiteness and their white privilege i didn't actually necessarily see that from him and she pulled up all of these instances and all of this feedback and i'm like while it could be very true and i'm trying to believe your character and that this is how you you really felt i'm also trying to figure out where else is this stuff coming from so i definitely think that we're about to unearth some things with danny and this storyline and her maybe being wrong here might be the thing that ushers in like her starting to question herself because she's also very sure about what she's sure about and then sometimes she'd be spot off like not spot on but that is one of the most interesting scenes i thought in the whole teaser of her like stopping this guy and thinking that she's going to preemptively stop this human trafficking from happening she wants to protect black girls and it's like yes protect black girls at all costs do your dang on job and step in when necessary but it's definitely something more to this and i can't wait to see it in episode two now after that we get to see andy come over to the duplex where fatima is with zach and she's telling them y'all both was pissed with hayden so that makes y'all suspects no 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 no. we're suspect well they all they both did have interactions with him so yeah girl they suspects but they suspects for reasons that you don't know and again back go back to the beginning of my video i said andy mind your damn business girl mind your business this don't have nothing to do with you you and that power suit this fresh new glow that robin has given you this new leash on life that you got honey grab that grab your bag and take your ass home cook some dinner and fatima got this okay fatima definitely got this so next episode y'all we're going to see the rest of the play out of like fatima and zach we saw in the preview for season four of like zach is like what did you do and she's like the least you know the better so we're about to have this whole moment and i think this is going to be one of the eye opening moments for zach i think he kind of knew who he was with with fatima but he about to really understand who he has and who he is with because fatima is 100 percent about that life and child this last scene of this thing on trailer is gary walking up to andy in this garage i think this is before she actually makes it to the duplex and i guess he probably like took her old car and put this car this new car in her spot and it's a gift from him and he's gonna try to win her back and this ain't all he got sir i don't give a damn if you last to the moon and pull it down tomorrow we're done andy you better stand firm in that i don't care what this man gives you what kind of car he gives you i don't care if he gives you your penthouse because now i'm starting to think he is the one that actually buys the penthouse i don't care if you fill that law firm up 80 million times with flowers i don't care if you got diamonds sapphires rubies and all types of everything no gary hell to the no now get on please tired of saying it honestly all right y'all i'm getting a little bit too intense but that is the full preview to episode two based on the teaser what do y'all think what are you expecting what are you hoping for let me know all that in the comment section down below if you're new here hit that subscribe button i didn't i didn't deliver it on this video so go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss any of my sister's videos i'm coming to you every day with a new video talking about different beats of the show and things that we really probably should get deeper into i can't wait to kick it with y'all in the next video but in the meantime i'm hopping in this comment section to see what y'all said and i can respond see you in the next one bye